Hey guys, Amelia here with Mom Bear Reviews and today we are here to talk about an exciting thing. I have battled with it for years and I am here to help you if you are someone who has wide thumbs or clubbed thumbs as they are called and you never were able to get your nails done, you have a hard time finding press on nails. So I'm here to share my hack for wide thumbs if you have clubbed thumbs. And I'm here to tell you what the best press on nails are to use for wide thumbs. So if that's something you want to see or want to know about, let's get into it. One of my biggest insecurities growing up and honestly, probably even in my twenties was my thumbs. I hated them. I got made fun of that for them. Like kids are mean, you guys. Um, and even elementary school, I remember kids were like, what's wrong with your thumbs? And I just, I have wide thumbs and they are called clubbed thumbs. Didn't even know that was a thing until I was researching for um, this blog post and YouTube video. But um, yeah, it was something that I got made fun of my whole life. I used to lie and tell the kids that my mom smashed my thumbs in the trunk of the car and they just like never healed, right? Like, I don't know, you guys, it was survival in elementary school and high school like I just you know you don't want to get made fun of so you make up something about like oh my god it's my mom's fault <laughs> but anyway so it was something that was just always a big insecurity of mine and you know going to proms or homecomings or wanting to get your nails done in a salon like I was never able to use like the acrylic tips like they always had to kind of like use the biggest one they could and then kind of fill it in with that other powdery stuff to kind of make it look like a nail it took forever you know, I felt like I f just felt really insecure. I felt like they were talking smack, like they would stare and giggle and whatever. You guys, it was just awful. Then as I grew up and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my own nails because it's not worth it. Um, the press on nails, like the thumb one was never big enough. So I always had like the gap um, on my nails and it just never looked right. So I would have to like hide my nails and I was doing like product photos or holding something like you guys, I could insert photos of me trying to do it and it's awful. I got really good at hiding my thumbs. I would do videos like this. I would talk to people like this so you can see my thumbs. It was just always a really big insecurity. Um, until now, until I be basically became a mom and I just decided not to care because, you know, you want to raise kids that don't have insecurities too, that are, you can't teach your kids I love every part of your body while you're still struggling with that. So I've worked on it. I just decided not to care. You want to make fun of me for my thumbs? That's on you. Like, that's your problem. You clearly have your own insecurities and you're just trying to portray it onto me. I don't care. Whatever. Anyways, but once I got over my, like, I don't care about my thumbs, I still wanted my nails done. I still wanted the long nails, the fake nails. I am too hard on my nails for gel. They would chip within a few days because I'm just too hard on them. And, you know, just the sound of, like, it's just, you know tapping on stuff. It's just, I don't know. It's a, it's a pleasing sound. <laughs> um, some people hate it. Some people, you get what I mean and you're my people. Anyways, I was never able to find a solution until now. And I'm so excited to share because if I can help other people with insecurities, with wide thumbs, get fake nails and have their nails look beautiful and have that confidence, I'm for it. So you guys, I decided I was on, I was looking, I went on Amazon this isn't a sound weird. Don't knock it till you try it. And if you have club thumbs like this, where you have like fatter thumbs, you will know the struggle. I went on and bought these. <laughs> I bought these from Amazon, right? They are the Kiss brand toenails. Toenails. Yes. Don't start with me. I'm just saying I did not use them on my feet. I use them on my thumbs and you guys, this is how well they turned out. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Like, come on. Like they turned out great. You can see like on the sides, it covers, covers my entire thumb. I use the size, I think I use the size one. So they have all different sizes. They're all toenails. Obviously I'm never going to use the tiny ones unless I actually used my, you know, did them for my feet don't plan to oh my god i can't even open it now um but yeah get your toenails i will link these in the description because honestly they've held up really well they're really durable i can't there it goes they've held up really well um 
I think I use, they come like this. So they have the little like tabby thing and you can size it. Um, yes, this is the size I used, size one. So there's different sizes. If you don't have as wide of thumbs, they have like smaller ones. They have like really bigger ones if you have bigger hands or bigger fingers, all different sizes. I did not use the glue that came with it because honestly the glue that comes with most of these kits suck. Um, so I actually went on and bought the Super Strong Nail Bond Professional by NYK. This is it. Um, yeah, quick fix water resistant adhesive. Um, so I really liked it. I put it on my actual nail and then I put a little bit on the fake nail. Glued it on. They have lasted. I've had these on over a week now. My claws. I've had them on for over a week now. They blasted. They were great. They are clear. I mean, they're the white, but then I went in and bought these nails for my, the rest of my nails. So these are the Una, Una Gela, Una Gela false nails. And these are the extra short oval. I will link these below. These are the 216 extra short oval. I love these. These are probably my favorite I've used and I have tried so many brands, but I don't like super long nails. Like you can see how long they are compared to my fingers. I don't like the super long claw ones. <laughs> um, they do have those on Amazon by all means. I like them short, but still have a little bit of length where, you know, you could still get the nice clickiness. Um, anyways, highly recommend these brands. This brand has been great. And then the Kiss Toe brands. This is what I how I did my nails. And then honestly, I just painted them myself because they're clear and they're white. Um, you don't see any of the white once you paint them. Um, I used the Olive and June kit to paint them. Love the Olive and June kit. If you want a full in-depth review, because I have thoughts, pros and cons. If you want a full video on the Olive and June kit, comment down below and I will get that done for you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's how I painted them. And yeah, I mean, they turned out really great. So if you are another wide thumbed gal or gentleman, whoever you are, my, you're like, you know, like me, get yourself some fake toenails because <laughs> they work and they are amazing. I can now have like a full set and it not have weird gaps. Like I'll try and find a photo and insert like how bad it used to be in this, like no gap. They've grown out a little bit since I've done them, but you guys, game changer, get yourself some fake toenails. <laughs> Anyways, if this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you would like the Olive in June full pro and con review in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.